to my channel thank you so much for joining me today if you're new here i'm sam and i do all things disney so if you enjoy disney just as much as i do then please consider subscribing to the channel and join my little disney community so most of us know if you are in the uk disney cruise liner is actually let us have the opportunity to have some staycations in the uk these are purely for uk citizens only so this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to go today is the 30th of april and sales go on live on their website also by telephone at 9 a.m and i'm so excited for this the online bookings is already opened for some reason they opened a good 90 minutes before the phone lines are actually opening so people are actually booking right now as i speak for the staycation cruise disney line is actually calling it um disney at sea because you don't actually go to any ports you stay in uh, uk water and you just literally float around but you've got that disney magic on board you can go for two three or four nights and these are running from july all the way to october so there is a wide selection on when you can actually go but they've been selling out pretty fast because what I do know is Platinum and Gold, they was able to book on Wednesday. Then Silver was able to book yesterday, which was Thursday. And for the general public, what's never been uh, on sea before with Disney, they are able to book today, the 30th. So you're probably wondering why I'm actually here in my kitchen. I'm always upstairs uh, in my vlogging room, but today, I'm actually going to be sharing with you is if I actually book today or if I don't. I don't know any prices. I've tried to keep it low key and not get loads and loads of information at once. So I don't know the true price it's going to be for me and my family. So I'm going to get the price. If the price is right, I will book. But if not, then I'm not going to be booking. So I'm going to be sharing that with you at the end of this video to see if I actually book or not. If you are wanting to see if I book, I will put a little time lapse in the description so you can go and fast forward to that actually. So you don't want me to babble on about all of the rules and all the regulations, what Disney is actually going to be wanting and putting into place. So Disney, for their health and safety policy, the first thing you need to really think about is vaccinations. A lot of people are not very happy about this. A lot of people have been saying that Disney has discriminated them because Disney are requiring full vaccination for over 18s. So this is your two doses, not just one. This is two doses of your vaccination before you can board. And if you are under 18s, you have to prove a PCR test is negative five days or 24 hours before you actually board and then when you are at port before you actually get onto the ship you have to and all of your family doesn't matter even if you are vaccinated you all have to have a natural flow test to board and everything has to be negative above board and everything's got to be perfect before you can actually board onto that ship so you know that you're negative you are safe and then another health and safety policy what disney has put into place is that at all times you have to wear your mask on ship unless you are sat down at a meal you are in your cabin you are lounging at a lounge chair in the sun don't know if that's going to happen because we are in britain or you are swimming obviously and there is recommendations if you want to take pictures um outside you are able to do that and take your mask off for a short period of time but you have to keep your social distance to everyone else what's on board from 12 upwards if you're under 12 they recommend you wear a mask so try and get your children to wear a mask but this is not a rule of such you can choose to not do this but it's safer if you can have your child to wear a mask 
it's definitely recommended by Disney that it's it just protects them it protects you it protects the child a little bit more if they can wear a mask but it is not a regulation you have to do so just keep that in mind if you have got autistic children like myself I've got autistic children and oh my goodness if I got my twins to wear a mask for a long period of time it would be a nightmare so i will be definitely taking their masks but i won't enforce it to the point where it makes the trip really awkward because i know they don't have to wear them but if it was part of the rules then i might be hesitant to even book because i wouldn't want to put anyone in danger and my family in danger as well so definitely if you can get your child to wear a mask that would be fantastic the next thing i just want to quickly go over and that is cancellation policies so if you test positive or it's covid related in 14 days before you actually travel disney will give you the alternative to uh, move your date to maybe next year if you wanted to it obviously wouldn't be a staycation cruise but it definitely would be uh, a cruise or you can have a full refund and i just think that policy is fantastic when it comes to this covid because it's an ever revolving situation and we definitely want to make sure that we're not losing any money and we can put that to a different holiday maybe later on in the year or something like that that's so really good that they're able to do that also if your children is tested positive on the pcr test then they would have to obviously not be able to go on the trip but disney has said if you test positive within those five days before you go or even 24 hours before you go you get a full refund but also if you do test positive on the flow test you can get a refund even though it's probably off now before you're boarding if it's covid related symptoms or you've tested positive you can get your refund which is also fun. insurances i just want to touch on that a little bit still get an insurance policy because yes you are in the uk still you are a uk citizen but when you are on board at disney they have got their policy what is in the us so you have to treat it like you're going overseas so make sure that you have got the right insurance for your family if you've got any uh, underlying health conditions definitely get them insured because you will be charged on board for some medical attention i just want to touch on the pcr tests for me i'm a family of five but only three of us uh, three of our children will need the pcr test I do know that Disney are providing a discount service for people to actually get this PCR test because it has to be paid by the customer, the guest. So I will be paying for three PCR tests for my children. But Disney has already said that they have got a company in mind what are going to be doing at a discounted rate. That has not been yet confirmed who that's going to be so i've got to keep checking on the website and then when it does come to light got to get booked in i'm hoping it's going to be around about 70 pounds um i have been looking at other providers um and they're around about 90 to 100 pounds per person which for me that would be around about a hundred well 280 pounds i think that is i do my maths in the morning uh, so yes it would be a lot of money so i'm hoping disney do actually have a fantastic discounted rate for us to enjoy this cruise but not have a massive pcr um, bill at the end of the day and the natural flow test what you take in the port before you go they are fully paid for by disney cruise themselves so there is no forking out for that they are taking charge of that but remember at any point if you are have a covid related uh, symptoms or you're testing positive you can get a full refund so that is definitely something to keep in mind when you are wanting to book these cruises so guys i'm going to start waffling on because i know you, you want to know if i've actually booked or not um if you have got this far thank you so much i know that a lot of people may not know all the rules and that so i just wanted to quickly go over them there is going to be more obviously rules and stuff on their website to go check out uh disney cruise i will put the link in the description so you can go check them out yourself and get the full guidance before you take that plunge in booking so I'm going to go and switch over now to first thing in the morning and see if I get this booked or not. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and give me a little uh, hanker 
uh, emoji just at the bottom so I know that you've take note of all this. Right guys, let's get to nine o'clock this morning. Okay guys, it is now five to nine. I'm sweating and I've literally just got home from taking the kids. Um, I walked there and it's only like a two minute walk. So I walked there, got back, sat down and I had 10 minutes and then I got my camera out and now I've got five minutes. Oh my goodness, I'm so, so excited, but I'm nervous. Um, I just want to know the prices. Um, and then I'll just kind of like see if we can afford it, if it's within our budget. I don't know, I just don't know. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <gasps> Right, we're on the countdown. We are on 59 minutes past. Oh my goodness, I hope this is not gonna take me long, guys. Here we go. Thank you for calling Disney Cruise Line. Thank you for your interest in booking a UK staycation. Hi, I'm interested in booking one of your staycations for the UK. Just looking for pricing at the moment. Okay, and is that for two adults and three children right okay okay thank you so much for your help today thank you Bye. oh my gosh right so the question you're really wanting to know is did i book and the answer is yes i did oh my god i can't believe it look at that oh my gosh guys i've booked i've booked i've booked right okay so i've booked for the I wasn't even planning on booking, literally. I was just gonna get a price, then kind of like, I don't know, evaluate it for a couple of hours and then maybe ring up later. But then I was thinking they might sell out on the um, the one I'm wanting. So I just went for it, guys. I went for it. So guys, we are going the 20th of July, which is 80 days away from today. Oh my God, 80 days. I've got so much to plan in 80 days. I'm just, I'm hot now. I'm so hot. Right, okay. So we're going, like I've just said, the um, 20th of July for three nights in a deluxe family um, ocean view um, flexiglass um, room. It's, um, I can't even get my voice out. Um, it's for five guests. Um, and oh my gosh, I, I can't believe it. Literally, it's on deck eight and it's number, I want to say 8008, I think it is. And it's um, B2, I think she told me something like that anyway. Which I'm just so excited for, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm a bit emotional, to be honest. <sighs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's when I've booked. So I'm going to be vlogging it for you guys. This is a whole new experience for me never been on a disney cruise we were gonna go uh, next year on a seven day disney cruise uh but we just thought why don't we do a three day first see how we like it if we do then we may still do the cruise for next year but oh my goodness i cannot believe i've actually booked oh my god so guys yes um let me know in the comments if you have actually booked and if you've got this far and you've really enjoyed it um leave me a anchor and a ship uh, emoji at the bottom oh my goodness i'm just so so happy and excited that we are able to do it oh my gosh it's, it's 80 days away guys oh my goodness um right so i'll share prices with you so, so it was two adults three children but because my oldest is 13 he was classed as an adult so three adults and two children and the price was 2883 pounds for three nights which was I was thinking that anyway i was probably thinking more along the uh, 3000 kind of mark but it's come under budget which is fantastic i did have a look at the four night stay for a family of five in the same room um, and that was coming out at over four thousand so for an extra thousand or so pounds you are able to go that extra night which for me 
it wasn't viable i just didn't want to do that extra night and that night you basically you, you're getting off the boat in in a fashion so no i'm definitely going to be doing the three nights the 25th of july so oh my goodness i'm so hot i'm hot i'm hot right so i need to go and get a drink now um I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogs to do with Disney cruising now. Now I've actually booked, I'm going to be doing a um, health fit. So what health I'm taking, what ease I'm taking um, and all that jazz. I've got so many videos going to be coming out now. I've actually booked and it's all secure. So, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to be sharing this news with you. Later on, I'm going to be pouring it up because it's the 30th today. I'm going to be editing it uploading it on my channel and you'll be seeing this now so oh my goodness so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it remember if you did subscribe to my channel if you want to see some disney cruise vlogs coming your way oh my goodness i can't believe i'm actually saying that let me just say it again disney cruise vlogs i've said it oh my goodness right guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye